Hello all. So if your gas gauge is always showing empty or it's just not showing the correct level of the gas any longer, or if you scan your computer and you're getting like a P0463 code or something along these lines, then the first thing to go and check is going to be the fuel level sensor. And unfortunately, the fuel level sensor is going to be inside of the gas tank with the fuel pump. And so testing it could be a little bit tricky. But I thought I'd make a quick video on how you could go about doing this and how you could check to see if it's good or bad. Because if that sensor test good, then it's going to be inside of your wiring. So when you are having this problem, the first thing to do is to test that fuel level sensor. And so to explain this, I got a fuel pump right here. This is the same fuel pump that's inside of this vehicle. This is a 2012 Toyota Corolla. And basically this is the fuel level sensor right here. It has a float on it. It just goes up and down as the gas level goes up and down. And if you take a look right here, this is the sensor right here. It has all these small little contact points that have different resistance. And so as this float changes, the resistance is gonna change. And so up here, it might have like really high resistance, but as it goes, the resistance level is gonna slowly change and change and change until it comes down. And the computer in the vehicle is gonna be able to read this and it's gonna be able to know where the gas level's at. And it'll send this information up to the dashboard, to the fuel gauge and things like this. And so basically what you wanna to do to test this is that you wanna use a multimeter, you set it to ohms, and you just check the resistance levels as this float goes up and down. Now on this particular fuel pump, it's the red and black wires going up and around to this harness. And so I can look right here, I can see the red and black wires. You will need to figure out which wire these are for your particular vehicle. If you can't find a wiring diagram on like Google Images, you can look up your fuel pump on like eBay and quite often they'll have images of it and you can see what wires are going to what. So you can find out which wires are coming up here to the top of the unit, to the wiring harness. And that way you know which wires you need to test for resistance. So I know which two wires it is, is these two top ones right here which is gonna be these two right up in here, and it's gonna be these two wires right up in here on this fuel pump. So on this particular vehicle, I need to test the two top pins right there. The other two pins are going to the fuel pump motor, and those two top pins are going to the fuel level sensor. So I'm gonna use a meter. I'm gonna set it to ohms, and we're basically just gonna check for resistance because this resistance level should change as that sensor moves up and down. Now the first thing right away is that you wanna make sure you're reading something. If you're not reading anything, you know that sensor's bad because you know it's an open or something like that. So you'll be getting like this. You won't be getting any reading. You won't be getting any resistance at all coming through there. And so that's the first thing you wanna check is you wanna be sure that you're reading something because if not, then that's open and it's not working at all and it definitely needs to be replaced. And so the next thing though is what if you are reading something? How can you get this level to move so that you can read different resistance levels? Well, what many mechanics do is that they'll jump up and down inside the vehicle or push it side to side. And that way that fuel level will start moving around a little bit. And you should be able to see some kind of change inside of the numbers right here, inside of the resistance levels. So, so to do this, basically all you want to do is you just want to try to rock the car as much as possible. It could be useful if somebody else is helping you. But if you could just rock it, you should see some kind of change. You see right there, I am seeing some kind of change. Not very much, but it is moving, so it is doing what it's supposed to be doing, it looks like. And so if you get these kind of readings, if it's like that, then very likely that fuel level sensor is good. And at that point, very likely it's going to be inside the wiring to the two wires going back to the computer and up to the dashboard. If you want to go farther with testing this, what you can do is that you can get like two or three, five gallons worth of gas. You take readings and then you add the gas in and then you check the readings again and you see how much they changed. If it has changed, then very likely that fuel level sensor is good and the problem is gonna be inside the wiring somewhere. Of course, if you still think that fuel level sensor is bad and you don't think it's in the wiring, then at that point, you're gonna to have to remove the whole fuel pump, take it out, that way you can manually move that float up and down. And as you do that, the resistance should slowly increase and slowly decrease with no dead spots or any spikes or anything like that. It's because sometimes just a single spot can go bad but as soon as it gets past that spot, it starts working normally again. So the only way you can really test that is to take the whole unit out, test resistance, and then just slowly move the float up. And then as you do that, the resistance level should also slowly change. But like I said, usually if you're reading something and then if you jump up and down and this changes, then usually that sensor is okay. You can also take readings and then add gas in and see if it changed also. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a basic video on how you go about testing the fuel level sensor while it's still inside of the vehicle. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.